Namalwa Tamil, Namalwa is one of the twelve Alva saints of Tamil Nadu, India, who are known for their affiliation to the Vaishnava tradition of Hinduism. The verses of Alvas are compiled as Nalayira Devya Prabhundam and the 108 temples revered are classified as Devya Desam. Namalwa is considered the fifth in the line of the twelve Alvas. He is highly regarded as a great mystic of the Vaishnava tradition. He is also considered the greatest among the twelve Alvas and his contributions amount to 1352 among the 4,000 stanzas in the Nalayira Devya Prabhandam. According to traditional scriptures, Namalwa was born in 3059 BCE in Alwathirunagiri. In Hindu legend, Namalwa remained speechless from his birth sitting in a tamarind tree and he first interacted with Madhurakavi Alvar, who saw a bright light shining to the south, and followed it until he reached the tree where the boy was residing. The works of Namalwa were compiled by Madhurakavi as four different works, the Tiruvayamoli 1102 verses, Tiruviratam 100 verses, Tiruvasiriam or Thiru Ashiriam 7 verses and Priya Tiruvanthadi 87 verses. The works of Namalwa contributed to the philosophical and theological ideas of Vishnavism. Along with the three Shaiva Nayanas Apar, Sundara and Sambanda, they influenced the ruling Pallava kings of South India, changing the religious geography from Buddhism and Jainism to Hinduism. The Garudasevai festival in Navaturapati, the nine Vishnu temples in Tutakudi region and the Araya Sevai during the Vaikuntha Ekadesi festival in Srirangam temple are dedicated to him. The verses of Namalwa and other Alvas are recited as a part of daily prayers and during festive occasions in most Vishnu temples in South India. <laughs> Alvas The word Alva means the one who dives deep into the ocean of the countless attributes of God. The Alvas are considered the twelve supreme devotees of Vishnu who were instrumental in popularizing Vishnavism. The religious works of these saints in Tamil, Songs of Love and Devotion, are compiled as Nalayira Devya Prabhundam containing 4,000 verses and the 108 temples revered in their songs are classified as Devya Desam. The saints had different origins and belonged to different castes. As per tradition, the first three Alvas, Poigai Aswa, Bhuthath Aswa and Pei Aswa were born miraculously. Thirumalizai Alvar was the son of a sage, Thondaradipodi Alvar, Madurakavi Alvar, Periyalvar and Andal were from Brahmin community, Kulashekhara Alvar a Kshatriya, Namalwara Velala, Thirupan Alvar a Pana and Thirumangai Alvar a Kala. The Devya Suri Charitra by Garuda Vahana Pandita 11th century, Guru Parampara Prabhavam by Pinbarajiya Paramal Jiya, Periya Tiru Mudi Adivu by Anbilai Kandadiyapan, Yatindra Pranava Prabhavam by Palai Lokacharya, Commentaries on Devya Prabhandam, Guru Parampara lineage of gurus texts, temple records and inscriptions give a detailed account of the Alvas and their works. According to these texts, the saints were considered incarnations of some form of Vishnu. Poigai is considered an incarnation of Panchajanya Krishna's conch, Bhuthath of Kaumodaki Vishnu's mace, club, Pei of Nandika Vishnu's sword, Thirumalizai of Sudarshanam Vishnu's discus, Nam of Vishviksena Vishnu's commander, Madurakavi of Vanathaya Vishnu's eagle, Garuda, Kalasekara of Kaustaba Vishnu's necklace, Periya of Garuda Vishnu's eagle, Andal of Budevi Vishnu's wife, Lakshmi, in her form as Budevi, Thondaradipo of Vanamalai Vishnu's garland, Thirupan of Srivatsa an auspicious mark on Vishnu's chest and Thirumangai of Sharanga, Rama's bow. The songs of Prabhandam are regularly sung in all the Vishnu temples of South India daily and also during festivals. According to traditional account by Manavala Mamunagal, the first three Alvas, namely Poigai, Bhuthath, and Pei, belong to the Dv Apara Yuga before 4200 BC. It is widely accepted by tradition and historians that the trio are the earliest among the twelve Alvas. 
Along with the three Shaiva Nayanas, they influenced the ruling Pallava kings, creating a Bhakti movement that resulted in changing the religious geography from Buddhism and Jainism to Hinduism. The Alvas were also instrumental in promoting the Bhagavatha cult and the two epics of India, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. The Alvas were instrumental in spreading Vishnavism throughout the region. The verses of the various Alvas were compiled by Nathamuni 824 AD, a 10th-century Vaishnava theologian, who called it the Tamil Veda. Early life According to traditional scriptures, Namalwa was born in 43rd Kali of 3059 BC. He was born in a Palai family at Thirukurukur in the southernmost region of the Tamil country. Some sources consider his to have been a princely family, although of Shudra status to prove world that caste is not based on birth and it is based on action." Tradition says that he must have been born fully enlightened because as a baby he never cried or suckled and never opened his eyes. According to legend, as a child he responded to no external stimuli and his parents left him at the feet of the deity of Sri Adhinatha in Alwathirunagari. The child then got up and climbed into a hole in a tamarind, sat in the lotus position, and began to meditate. It appears he was in this state for as long as 16 years when a Tamil poet and scholar in named Madurakavi Alvar who was born in Thirukolur and had travelled to North India on a temple trip. As he was performing his Nitya Anushtanam one day, he saw a bright light shining to the south, and followed it until he reached the tree where the boy was residing. Unable to elicit any reaction from the child, he asked him a riddle, "'If the small is born in a dead's body or stomach, what will it eat and where will it stay?' Meaning, if the subtle soul is embodied in the gross body, what are its actions and thoughts? Namalwa broke his lifelong silence and responded, "...that it will eat, it will rest," meaning that if the soul identifies with the body, it will be the body but if it serves the divine, it will stay in Vaikuntha and eat think of God. Madurakavi Alvar realized the divinity of this child. It is believed that in the Kali Yuga, the doors of Vaikuntam the supreme abode was opened first time for him by Sriman Narajanan himself and it is believed that the followers of Swami Namalwa have the most easy access to the supreme abode. Following his moksha his family entitle as the Subhya Kumara Palai the auspicious sons by holy Vaishnava Acharyas and they serve him and believe him to be Sriman Narajanan Tiravadi and celebrate him as Kulaguru. Namalwa was one of the twelve Alva poet saints who immersed themselves in a love of Vishnu and who had a considerable knowledge of ancient Tamil literature and its variants of traditional stories concerning Vishnu and his associates, as well as the philosophical differences between Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism. Madurakavi Alvar was his first disciple. Swami Madurakavi Alvar composed eleven Pashurams in praise of his Acharya, Swami Namalwa known as Kaninun Shiruthambu, which are included among the 4000 Nalayira Devya Prabhundam. <laughs> Work He contributed four works to the Devya Prabhundam. These works consisted of 1,296 poems, making him the most prolific contributor to the 4,000 hymns written by the Alvar poet saints. These works are Tiruvamali 1102 verses, Tiruviratam 100 verses, Thiruvasiriam 7 verses. Periya Tiruvanthadi 87 verses Tiruvamali describes Ranganatha as a metaphor to discussing the philosophical details in The nature of the Paramatma divine soul The nature of the Jivatma living soul The means for the Jivatma living soul to attain the goal of Paramatma divine soul The blocks and hurdles on the way and 
The goal moksha divinity, in the Sri Vishnava canon, these four represent in Tamil language the four Sanskrit Vedas, respectively, the Sama Veda, Rig Veda, Yajur Veda and Atharva Veda. According to tradition, he poured the cream of these Vedas into his songs and poetry that were the result of deep mystic experience. Though Namalwa did not visit any of the 108 Divyadesam temples talked about in the Vaishnava religion, it appears from his works he must have had the vision of all the archer forms in the temples he glorified in his hymns. <laughs> <laughs> Style of composition The distinction of Namalwa with his contemporaries is above the devotional aspects in writing, the visualization and dramatic movement. He mentions Vishnu in various aspects frequently in all his verses. The poems of Tiruvirutam are depicted fully between the lone context of the hero and heroine. Most of these are utterances of the hero, heroine, her friends to the heroine or her mother to the heroine. The heroine always perceives his hero, Vishnu everywhere around her. As per Viradachari, Tiruviratam is, "...an account of the pilgrimage of the soul to its transcendence over its ignorance, sleep and sloth in which it is caught up in the body." While the medieval poetry is considered self-pity and repentance, his works always have a message of hope. Culture Namalwa is regarded as the one of the top three Hindu mystics in India, with the other two being Manikavasagar and Kabir. Namalwa is considered greatest among the twelve Alvas and his contributions amount to 1352 among the 4,000 stanzas in the Nalayira Devya Prabandham. The Garuda Sevai Utsavam festival in the month of Akasi May to June witnesses nine Garuda Sevai, an event in which festival image idols from the Navatarupathas temples namely, Mayakutha Temple, Makara Nedinkuzai Kanan Temple, Retai Tarapati, South Temple, Retai Tarapati North Temple, Vaithamanidi Paramal Temple, Adhinatha Paramal Temple, Thirikaruga, Keshinavendan Temple, Vijayasana Paramal Temple, Sravakuntanatha Kalapiran temple are brought on Garuda Vahana. The festival image of Namalvar is also brought in Anavayanam and his verses dedicated to each of these nine temples are recited. The Utsava of Namalvar is taken in a palanquin to each of the nine temples, through the paddy fields in the area. The verses dedicated to each of the nine Divyadesams are chanted in the respective shrines. It is the most important of the festivals in this area, and it draws thousands of visitors. Pagal Pathu and Ra Pathu festival are celebrated in the month of Margaji December to January for 20 days in Sri Ranganathaswami Temple, Srirangam. The first ten days are referred as Pagal Pathu -day -day festival and the second half as Ra Pathu -day -night -time festival. The first day of Ra Pathu is Vaikuntha Ekadashi. The eleventh day of each fortnight in Tamil calendar is called Ekadesi and the holiest of all Ekadesis in the Vaishnava tradition is the Vaikuntha Ekadashi. Namalwa, one of the twelve Alvas, is believed to have ascended to Vaikuntam the heavenly abode of Vishnu on this day. The devotion of the 9th century poet, Namalwa, and his perceived ascent to heaven are enacted annually. During the festival, through song and dance, this place is affirmed to be Buloga Vaikuntha heaven on earth. Araya Sevai is a divine colloquium of Arayas, who recite and enact Nalayara Devya Prabandha, the 4,000 verses of Alvas Vishnavite poets of the 7th–10th century. Arayas are born to Araya tradition most prevalent in Srivaishnava families in Srirangam, Alva Thiranagari and Srivilapadha. The tradition of Araya Sevai was started by Nathamuni, a 10th-century Vishnavite who compiled the works of Alvas. It is believed as per Hindu mythology that 330 million demi-gods came down to witness the event. 
The festival deity is brought to the 1000 pillared hall on the morning of Vaikuntha Ekadashi through the Paramapada vassal gate to paradise. Lacks of pilgrims rush to enter it after the gate is opened and the deity passes through it as it is believed that one who enters here will reach Vaikuntam heaven after death. The gate is open only during the ten days of Ra Pathu ten days of night -time festival. On the last day of the festival, the poet Namalwa is said to be given salvation. The performance is enacted by priests and images in the temple depicts Namalwa as reaching heaven and getting liberation from the cycle of life and death. At that point, a member from the crowd of devotees, who are witnessing this passion play, goes up to the center stage and requests Vishnu to return Namalwa to humanity, so that his words and form in the temple will continue to inspire and save the devotees. Following this performance of the salvation of Namalwa, the cantors are taken in procession round the temple. See also Ramanuja Manavala Mamunigal Hindu reform movements Notes <laughs> <laughs>